In this tutorial, we're going to see how to construct a key performance indicator tracker, just like the one that you're looking on the screen, uh, to see if the performance is going up or down uh, based on the measure or the KPI that you want to track. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new sheet and uh, I'll leave the first uh, row blank for now. Um, and uh, for this example, we'll just go ahead and use some stock data. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, write down the names of some uh, ETFs. Let's try Tesla and let's try Apple. And uh, let's also throw in Amazon. Okay, good. So we want to track the performance um, over time. Um, in this case, it just happens to be stock. So this isn't going to take too much time. We're just going to go to um, our data tab and uh, let's go to stocks. Okay, let's bring in some data. So let's go ahead and bring in the price. So that's the price of these stocks. Good. So that's the current price. I'll just label it current price or latest price. And uh, I'll just go ahead and throw in uh, my average, right? So let's just say that I bought one of uh, one stock of each. Okay, great. So now um, we have to create a tracker for this data. So if the value, if the difference is um, more, um, so what I'm, what we're going to do here is basically so it'll be the current minus the average. So if the difference is positive. Um, then that means that I have made money on that and the performance of the stock is increasing. So um, in order to do that, um, I'll just kind of leave this here for reference and uh, let's go ahead and create the, um, uh, create the column. So this will be the current minus the average. So this is your current price minus what was your average. And again, um, this is, we're only doing this for one stock. Um, if you have multiple stocks, then yes, you would have to create the calculation in order to create uh, or, or in order to compute your gain and loss. So let's go here and just fill this out real quickly. And then what we want to try now is our indicator. What we want to add here is our indicator. Okay. In order to do this, um, we, we need to um, use the if statement. So we'll just say, okay, if my number is greater than zero, well, that means that we're doing good. So we're going to go ahead and add a symbol here. So just hold down the alt key and type in three zero. Alt three zero is going to give you this symbol. And if that's that, and if it's less than zero, then the then go ahead and type um, hold down the alt and press 31 so it's alt 31 is going to give you the down arrow symbol okay so that's that now i'm just gonna copy this over and let's uh, just align this a little bit better now to color code this um, what we need to do is kind of the same thing but we will use conditional formatting for this so i'm going to highlight whatever i want to indicate or whatever i want to color code i'll go to conditional formatting and say if the value is equal to so let's just say alt 31 um, so that that's the down arrow uh, the performance wasn't that great i'm going to use a light red fill for this um, and then i'll go back to conditional formatting click on highlight cell equal to alt 30 and that's that up arrow key and I will use a green fill for the positives and this gives you an easy way of tracking your indicator um, and just visualize and see how your um, stocks are performing well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe and follow for more thank you